next 10 minutes, I will be speaking about listening. I'm going to give you a demonstration of the world's oldest technology. Many millions of years older than human existence. This is going to be something quite unusual. I would like to ask everyone to please close your eyes. Close your eyes and do not open them for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean it. Try to experience by only listening and let my voice guide you. What is listening? We usually listen to sounds coming from the world outside us. At this moment, you can hear the sound of my voice. You can hear subtle noises present in the space. The blowing of an air conditioning, people shuffling on their chairs. You can hear the sound of your own breath. You can hear a high hissing sound, which doesn't seem to come from anywhere. This is your nervous system at work. And if you listen even more carefully, you can hear a low rumbling sound. This is the blood pumping through your veins. Do not open your eyes. We usually think that we listen by just using our ears, but it involves the body as a whole. Sound, as it moves through space and fills that space, touches every single cell in your body. We listen with our skin. Sound is striking it like a breeze of wind. We listen with our internal organs, mostly consisting of water. Ripples of sound are flowing through it. We listen with our bone structure. Sound resonates through all the pockets and cavities of the skeleton. We are not just passively receiving these sounds, but we invariably respond to them. Listening activates the entire nervous system, evoking slight twitches of the muscles as we tune ourselves to what we hear. We become aware that our bodies and the space around us function as a single organism. Now, let us go back some hundred million years and visit our early ancestors a Möbus floating in the oceans. We have no ears to hear with. We have no eyes to see. We have no mind to think. We are surrounded by water and have no sense of orientation. Yet, we are listening and responding to the environment. Organisms touched by and bringing about vibrations rippling out through the water. And this is how we detect proximity and distance of prey, predator, or partners as they are floating around us. the inheritors of the ability to interact with our environment through vibration, linking us to the earliest forms of life on Earth. No need to open your eyes, just keep them closed. The sounds we make ourselves, the expressions of our voices, are the result of listening 
and tuning to the environment. Let me guide you into the ancient caves, first explored by men about 35,000 years ago. We are entering unknown space in the pitch dark, only accompanied by the light of a torch flame. As my voice echoes through the openings and pockets of the cave, it tells us where the space is narrow and closed or open and hollow. We notice that our voices sound full and strong in certain places and weaker in others. The space invites us to explore what we can do with our voices. And this is how we discover early forms of speech and singing together. those places where we found the cave to resonate the strongest, this is where we made our first drawings on the walls, as symbolic expressions of the sounds we discovered there. It's the very beginnings of a system giving meaning to meaningless sounds, which we now call language. Do not open your eyes. We usually think that we listen to sounds coming from the world outside us, but everything we hear is happening inside us. We are not separate from the space that we experience, but actively shaping it from moment to moment. Let me take you on a tour through our modern cities, the soundscape of the post-industrial age. We are surrounded by noises coming from machines, motorized vehicles, and many human beings, continuously moving around, above, and beneath us. The way we move ourselves through space changes what we hear. Sounds are muffled and diffused when we are distant and they become loud, full and pronounced when we are close. Rhythm and pitches of sounds are speeding up or slowing down as we move ourselves faster or slower through space. So when we listen to space, we are listening to ourselves, to our state within and through space. What we distinguish as other and self, there and here, then and now, it is a movement, 
like ripples flowing through water. To listen to space, then, is to experience continuity, the unfolding of experience itself from moment to moment. Do not open your eyes. The space we listen to contains our bodies. It does not stop there. You might usually think of your body as being you, but listening doesn't distinguish what is inside or outside of you. Your entire body, up to its finest tissue and smallest cavities, is a part of the continuity of space we experience. So if it's not your body, that's you. What is this you that is listening to all of this? And where is you? Let me transport you to the future, into the post-digital age. We have merged with our technologies to communicate, receiving messages, images, and sounds from each other as appearances in our own minds. And the high density of signals transmitted through the atmosphere is interfering with our nervous systems. Electrical currents are passing through the skin. Our internal organs are flooded by a stream of ultrasonic frequencies. What do we hear? Will we once more evolve our ability to listen and perceive as yet inaudible vibrations? Or will we simply stop listening as we are deafened by the noise suffocating the environment? Do not open your eyes just yet. Technologies are moving us rapidly forward but we are not aware of what we leave behind. We already have a technology that allows for an experience of such infinite depth and detail we will never be able to reproduce. And it's available to us at any given moment, in any given place. Our ability to listen is already ready. Yet, it's not a passive state. Listening is a conscious effort in the here and now to increase our awareness of the environment. It is also not a given state. Our listening evolves, and it keeps on evolving. The more careful attention we give to it, from day to day, from moment to moment, Let's consider that we have a choice. The way we evolve our listening collectively will be the way we evolve our environment. And the way our environment evolves will be the way we evolve as a species. This is the ecology of listening. You may now open your eyes and thank you for listening.